Hello there, and welcome to another video of this channel, Improv Channel. <clears throat> We're walking to school to pick up my son, and you're going to walk with me, whether you like it or not. Before we start, I would like to apologize for the last video, which cut off abruptly. Because my phone sucks and it doesn't have enough enough data, enough, enough, enough memory, basically. So that's how it is. I'm, I'm working with very uh, crappy equipment here. But I work with what I have. And uh, try to make the best of it. I want to continue doing and uploading these videos consistently. Because... It's an exercise for me. Um, I'm in the habit of starting to do something and then dropping it halfway through because the doubts, the insecurities, the negative talk, or I don't know, something goes wrong along the way. I don't like how it's going. I don't know, I'm not feeling it anymore. I feel stuck with what I'm doing. I'm not liking what I'm doing. I need to change it. And uh, if you ever been to my Twitch channel, you can see that I've always been like on and off of the streaming thing because I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find what works for me. What's my streaming style? What's my voice? And here I am, doing the same again in my YouTube channel. Well, I want to keep going and even, I, always, I just want to keep going. I need to keep going. I need to commit to something. The only thing I have committed to I realized was my family. That's been with my family for 10 years. Which is my wife and my two kids. And even though for a long time I thought of I was stuck. For a long time I thought that my family, it wasn't more, I mean, the thought, I had the thoughts that my family was some sort of obstacle towards me doing the things I wanted to do. And in some part of my mind, I held them like that as an obstacle. And it's not just my wife who's had the ideas of separating. I've had those ideas as well. Separating. I have those ideas for... Sorry, truck. I've had those ideas for many, many times. Many, many times. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to a quieter street. And uh, we always talk about it, right? But be, me leaving, or me doing some faraway job somewhere, or just or just leaving, I don't know. It's true. Because we felt, as I spoke on the last video, I believe, we felt stuck in this loop, something that prevented us from moving forward as a family, together as a team. Even though at the same time, that's what I want. I wanted that the most, to be a team, to be present and for my family. But this contradicting ideas in my head wouldn't, wouldn't let me commit to either of those. So, 
there I was stuck in this loop and in between in a haze which prevented me from being fully present not only with my wife but my kids and that's part of what was was led to this my wife endured me many 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 years where for a lot of times I will be very very un unresponsive almost like a zombie she try to talk to me and I'll be like because mm -hmm, eh, mm -hmm. I was I was locked in this gridlock in my head that I couldn't escape from and it's only and it's only because of this other person that has entered our life and which my wife has fallen in love with that I have been able to wake up and dislodge that that locked in my mind which prevented me from being here with my family so all these years I feel like I've wasted them I've wasted them just being a zombie and the uh, thing is I, I was a zombie with my family but you know, with other kids and other people, I could be present, I could be there, I could be eloquent, I could be full of light and positivity and good vibes. But then back at home, it's like I shot off. This, this, this stupid idea in my head that somehow my family is holding me down, tying me down, um, preventing me from being free. And so and now, now completely discarded the idea that my freedom is out there. This is not, it's here now, committed with my family and surrendering to my family. And being the father and the family man I I wanted to be ever so deeply in my heart. And uh, yes, I've said all these words. I've said all these words, but they don't mean anything unless they're back with action, right? So here I am being a witness to myself. Am I really gonna go through these words, am I really going to commit to what I'm saying, to what I feel, I, I, I believe I am, I trust that I am, and if I don't, then, if I don't, if I fall short again, then there's no hope for me, if I fall short again, I'm just a broken human being who can't, can't achieve anything. So, ironically and strangely, as my wife gives her heart to another, I give, I, only in this peculiar situation was I able to give my heart to her completely, because before I had it. I was too wounded, too hurt from previous relationships and, and whatnot. I hope my voice can be heard despite the bell going off. Let me show you. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's the bell. Whoa. It's a church. I'm walking 
fucking right next to the church. Anyways. What else? What else? Yes, I was saying ironically, or strangely. As my wife gives her heart to another, I gave my heart to her. And I'm happy, very happy that I'm able to do so. It's liberating, really. And I told her it's the best thing I've done in my life. To let her in finally, to open my heart, to let her in. I told her, I'll go, I'll walk through any pain in order to love you. And so I have. I have been walking through the pain of her wanting to leave, of her loving another and giving her heart to another, of her just giving up in our relationship. I've walked through all that pain. I've cried all my tears. And I've been doing a lot of crying this past few days. A whole lot of crying. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Damn, I don't think I've ever cried this this consistently in my life. <laughs> but uh, it's a release, man. It's a release. I'm releasing all these stagnant emotions. Unraveling all these knots that help me down. And looking at new horizons. So I just have to stay centered, stay present, and do do what I'm here to, to do. I want to live a beautiful life. I want to have a beautiful family. In whatever shape or form, the most important aspect of that, of beauty, is presence. Because if you're not present, if you're not present, you cannot create beauty or receive it. You cannot create it or admire it. Presence is the most important element of beauty. Unless I'm missing something else. <laughs> she tell me. Anyways. Um, well... Thanks for listening. Thanks for walking with me. I'm almost here to my son's school. And uh, I'll be walking back home with him. God bless. See you next time.